Now we're going to install the lower forward cowling. You're going to get it, and it's going to be bent just like this. And you're going to say, wow, that ain't very much bending, but it'll work. You have a center hole on this one. You want to line that up with the center mark on your nose. And how I align this, this, where this bend or this radius starts right here, I want it on the outside of my fuselage on both sides. That's where I want it, right there. You're going to keep watching this and holding it square and you're going to walk this around like we've done on everything else. Work out from center one hole at a time. Okay, now <clears throat> what I do, I get about to the last hole. And I start bending this around the bottom of the fuselage here, like that. Gently roll it by hand. Just gently roll it by hand. This hole has to be above the lower edge of the fuselage because you got to drill into that edge. So what I use is a couple clamps. <coughs> to hold this down temporarily. You want to do that on both sides. Okay. Yeah, you gotta just wanna get them both clamped. Okay, good. Get, bo get both sides clamped and go back and drill the forward lower hole on both sides. Or you can do one side at a time, it don't matter. When you get this hole here done, you want to loosen this clamp up a little bit just to slide this metal down and aft. And then you're going to work back. One hole at a time. Put a screw in.
Do the same thing on the other side. Now in the plans, it says to put a flange on this edge here to stiffen this up and help protect the child's legs from getting cut on this edge. So I got a piece of Delrin, Delrin I think it's called. I just cut a slot in it. You can use for the plans, use a dowel, cut a slot in it. You just take this and pull it. Be careful because if you slip, you can cut yourself. and it hurts. You want to do that a couple times. Get a nice bead on there. And it's done. That's the lower cowling. We're going to show you how to start on your pedal crank pulley. Here's are the four pieces you're going to have. You got your center pulley and your two outer pulleys. They do not come chamfered here on this edge. So make sure you chamfer this with a file or sanding on the edge of this. Another thing I like to do, this center pulley is four inches in diameter. The outer pulleys are five inch in diameter. So I put a this on here and center this and draw draw a mark all the way around it. So when you put these onto here, you know exactly where the center is. Next, I take the pedal crank and drill some holes or some dimples on both sides of the center of the pedal crank. It does not tell you this in the drawings or in the instructions, but this just gives you a little bit more area for the epoxy to set in here and to cure to. Next, I've built a fixture that I came up with to use to get everything centered on this pedal crank. I crank this or put this in here and I clamp it. <clears throat> what you need to do is round these edges here with a router bit. You slant, slant, put that on here, and I have a mark on this one. Remember, this is my fixture. It does not show you how to do that. Epoxy this side up in here real good and let it cure. We use JB Weld 24 hour cure epoxy only. When it dries, go ahead and do the other side with the same epoxy and let it dry. It takes 15 to 24 hours to cure. You're going to have a pulley that looks like this now once you got it all together for the center pulley only. And that's in here pretty close centered. Okay. When this is all ready and sanded smooth in here, go ahead and round the inside of the openings again. And you're going to use wood glue on this area. Center that up with your lines. Like that. And glue both halves onto the crank. So it's going to be sandwiched like this. Then we have two little plugs you have to sand to a contour to fit down in here to fill this gap up after the outer pulleys are glued on. That completes your pulley on your pedal crank. You have two bearing plates. Your bearings have to be pressed into these holes. Whatever you do, don't hit this bearing with your hammer. Either you can use a socket here to hold the outer flange to pound on the socket and a bigger socket back here so the bearing will go in. 
Okay, you want to press your bearing in so your flange is flush with your metal on both bearing plates. Take your bearing plate with the flange on the outside, put that on the inside of your landing gear strut, and put four bolts with a lock washer in here. Now I'm not going to tighten these up. When you paint these, go ahead and take everything apart and put a screw in the hole so you don't get paint in your threads. Put all your hardware in a cardboard box so you can paint it. You want to do the same thing on this side. But first, you take your pedal crank, slide it in through here, and make sure the threaded end is on the right, which is on the left when you're upside down. Make sure it goes in your bearing. You may have to sand the shaft off a little bit. But this is just going to be temporary to show you how it goes together. Just not go in there. Okay. Make sure that spins free. Pull these a little bit off, but it's okay. Now you have two wheels. One a regular wheel, and the other wheel already has your nut welded in to the drive wheel. This wheel with the nut in it is your drive wheel. You have to have one drive wheel. The free spinning wheel has to go on the left side. You have two little spacers. You put those on the outside of your bearing. Just like that. Take your free spinning wheel with the round towards the bearing. Same thing on this side. Round towards the bearing. Spin that on there. So you can get a nut on the outside of the wheel. Now here, you got a washer and a cotter key. Washer and a cotter key. Make sure you spread the cotter key so it won't fall out. On the drive wheel, the one with the nut, you take another jam nut and screw on there so that jam nut is flush with your axle, your pedal crank. You tighten this jam nut very, very tight, about 45 foot-pounds of torque against your wheel. That's your pedal crank wheel assembly put on. The only thing you don't have is your hub cap. You have a ring here, you put three screws in to your wheel, put your hubcap on. That's the end of that. Okay, here's your landing gear door. You put the chamfer all the way around up to approximately this area on your door. The two screws, you're going to put it on here just like that. So the chamfer is on the inside of the gear door. We see a lot of them with the gear door this way, which is not correct. You want to put it this way. So, we're going to take your drill. You want to get this 
close to the center of that dowel as you can. Put a screw in it. There's two ways to do this. If you're going to make it so your gear doors are not on there permanent, put a screw in there, but do not glue the gear door on. If you want it, leave it permanent. Put it in there and put a piece of, or put some glue on the edge of your dowel and put your gear door on there. Just like that. Fill in the other two holes. There's your gear door installed. Okay, here's your completed pedal Mustang up to the painting process. And I'm going to leave that up to you guys that are building it. But go ahead at the end of your day, go ahead and start filling in all your screw holes and stuff like that with wood filler. Go ahead and put your blades or paint your blades and put them into your spinner for the plans. Seal it with two or three coats of sanding sealer and then you can paint it your choice of your colors and apply your decals. Again, I want to thank you. It's been a pleasure building this for you guys. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you very much.